See, the SEC has itself estimated that the pay ratio rule would impose 545,000 annual hours of paperwork, uh, and that, uh, that this could end up to an annual cost on the private sector of $710 million with an annual compliance time of 3.6 million hours. Dr. Graham, you care to can comment on this? Well, look, it, it goes way beyond paperwork. What all this is about is political demagoguery. It's the one form of bigotry that is still allowed in America, and that's bigotry against the successful. Why do people pay executives a lot of money? Why do CEOs make these huge salaries? Because they add value. If somebody takes over a company and it succeeds, they get rewarded. If it fails, they get fired. It's not the government's business as a shareholder, I own the company, not the government. It's my money, not the government's money. So if I just want to give it away as if I would give it away, then I ought to be free to do it. Now, maybe the government should assess a gift tax. I don't know. I don't want to suggest that to anybody. But the point is people pay for performance. And there are some people that are able to add tremendous value. Joe Namath did as quarterback for the New York Jets. He was the most exploited football player in history, even though he made the highest salary, because he added more value than he got. My friend Ed Whitaker at AT&T, if there's ever been an exploited worker, even though they made a big deal about him getting $75 million when he retired, the man added billions of dollars of value. He was exploited. It was an outrage. But nobody's raising hell about it. They're raising hell about the fact that he made a lot of money and other people would like to have the money. And even if they don't want it, they don't want him to have it. Okay. I don't get it.